Title, Sixth Grade Notes. I can explain why we take notes the way we do. Wow, that was really well done, Shereen. Thank you. Um, are you guys able to explain why we take notes the way we do? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Um, there are a few vocab words we need to discuss. The first vocab word is star notes. Star is an acronym for the following. What does the S in star stand for, you guys? Set up notes. And what kind of notes do we set up? Three column notes. And these are our three columns right here, right? Yes. Cool. What does the T stand for? Take notes. So after you set up your notes, you take the notes with me. And then what does the A stand for? Add notes. And where do we add to our notes? And that's where we do our thinking about the notes, right? Yes. And then what's the R stand for? Review notes. And we review notes by making... A video. And then we also watch, watch the video. Awesome. Okay, in our classroom, we have a couple of things that help us in addition to note taking. We have a cheat wall, we have a cheat poll, right? Yeah. The cheat wall has the most vital Info. Information that you need to know for math all year long, right? Yeah. It stays up on the board all year, or on the wall all year, right? Yeah. The cheat pole is the three poles on the side of the room that have black chalkboard paint, and we write really important stuff that we might need for the test on them, right? Yes. Cool. Okay, moving on to number two, there was Dana in a story. I told you that research has said that if a child or an adult takes notes, they will remember 50% of what they took notes on, right? Yeah. Then I told you a story about this guy at Cornell who started a study where he would have half of his class review their notes day after day after day, yeah. and he'd have the other half not review them ever. He would just say, you guys can leave. Yeah. And he found out that the kids who reviewed their notes day after day after day after day passed this class at what percentage? 90. They remembered 90% of their notes, and they passed at a 90% clip, right? Yes. Okay. So if you don't review your notes, you remember what? 50%. If you do review your notes, you remember what? 90%. Okay. Um, then we went over here, and I've done my own research over the past five years since I've been doing this, or over the past four years, and I have found that 90% of my sixth graders are what? On track for According to me, Mr. Norm, or? Which one? Which one? Minnesota. Minnesota. It's not me. And then last year we had our best year ever. How many? 94. 94.7. Oh my god, 94.7. And then 93.4 made high growth. That's really good. Are we going to beat that this year? Yes. What is our goal for both of these categories? 100%. 100%. Excellent. Okay. And then just to back up what I'm saying here, I had my students explain why they had so much success last year. And they said four things which I applied to star note taking. The first thing was they said, Mr. Pottinger, our notes were organized and easy to read because we had a nice setup, right? Yeah. They said, Mr. Pottinger, our study buddies helped a ton when we took notes. Because yeah. you can talk to each other, right? Uh -huh. And you can, like, learn from each other, right? Yeah. Okay, and then they said, Mr. Pottinger, you made us think about our notes right after we were done taking them. Well, you made us add to our notes to the cheat sheet. So the thinking and adding to our notes helped us understand things even better. So that was the add to notes. Yes, no? Yes. And then, Mr. Pottinger, even though we didn't love all of your videos, the fact that we had to make a video with you and then watch the video really helped us to know our notes from beginning to end. Yes, no? Yes. yes. That's what they told me. That's not what I said. That's what they told me. Yes. 